Kelly, you're live on the air. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. You're live. I'm live? You're live on the air, yes. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you. Um, I called la last week. Uh, my name is Terry. Uh, I just oh. wanted to have some clarification. Um, Toby Singer, um, I asked you last week to give me one example where a person besides God can be qualified as the salvation, Yeshua. And you provided me a proper name instead of a noun. Can you please? Because you're saying Isaiah 49.6 refers to Israel. So can you give me one example in all of Scripture where a person could be con uh, considered or qualified as the Yeshua? Not the name, the noun. So that's a great question. So where in the Jewish Scriptures is someone called a savior for the Jewish people? And not by their name, but they're called a savior. Well, um, let's take the first of the judges. The first of the judge, what first judge of the children of Israel, what was his name? Osniel ben Kanaz. He was the younger brother of Kalev, very famous. And the Bible says that, in fact, he was raised up to be a Moshia, Yeshua, same root, Livnei Yisrael, by Yoshiem, and he saved them. So again, it's Judges chapter 3, verse 9. Now the question is, why do Christians believe that a person like Osniel ben Kanaz could be a savior? How is that possible? So it's a good question. Now you've got your answer. And now it's time for you to turn to Hashem as your only Lord, your only Savior. There is no other. You have in Tanakh many people who are called upon to carry out the will of Hashem. And they are sometimes called God, as in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 10. Isaiah is called God when speaking to Ahazit and says, that, and God replied, but Isaiah was speaking, and here would be an example of someone who was acting on behalf of God, and because he represented God, in this case as a savior, Asneel ben Kanaz is called a savior for the Jewish people. There's an example. Thank you for your question. <laughs> בטרם כל יציר נברא, לעת נעשה 